How can we help you, man? Uh, Bob. Okay, I, I sent an email a couple months ago, and okay. uh, I don't get to listen to your show that often. Okay. But uh, I've got a serious problem, and you said something before the break, and believe me, I am not calling because this is a joke. I'm calling because i got a serious gut problem. Okay. And I just talked to my doctor this morning. He did all these tests. Everything seemed to be just Forget absolutely. tests. Forget you don't need tests. Yeah, everything came out right. normal, right? But you still have a problem. That's why right. tests, are, tests are useless for everybody except the guys who are charging you for the tests. And some of the big, biggest company, uh, most profit-intensive companies in all the healthcare world field are Quest Diagnostics and testing companies because everybody wants tests. And by the way, malpractice insurance and lawyers and Obamacare, uh, all of this stuff uh, makes doctors freak out and totally paranoid and they keep ordering tests. But you're the test, Bob. Your gut is bugging you. That's the test. You're positive. And I also have a, also have a hiatal hernia, which is just... It's all related. ...to be able to know what to do. It's all and connected. He, he's telling me to go get an ultrasound next week because I probably have to get my gallbladder out. More tests. Out. So, he, so he says more can tests. I please, can I please send you my phone number? Can I please talk to you? Yes, please do. Ben at KSCO.com. I'll call you today, Bob. But just so you Thank know, you. Just so you know, it's don't worry about the test. You're the test. You got to fast. You got to fast right away. For the listeners, Bob needs. To, oh, by the way, what's your disability? My disability is uh, when I got disabled, I snapped my neck on duty. And Are you I paralyzed, or you got any kind of you're not quad or paraplegic or anything like that? No, 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 no. I've just okay. had two neck operations. Though, okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. Deal. Okay, so you, you. this is you can deal with this. You can deal with this simply. Thanks for your call, Bob. Appreciate it. I'll and, give you call. Thanks. I'll Thanks. call you later. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. We get these tests, and the doctors say, well, your thyroid's normal, but you feel like crap. <laughs> you know, well, everything seems to be okay, but you're in pain. You know, we did all the digestive tests, but, you're, but, you're, but you got gut problems like this guy, Bob. You know, we are so, we're so uh, intimidated by our bodies and by the medical model that we think people outside of us know better than us. And if there's one fundamental message here, it is that we can do this ourselves. And I'm not sitting here telling you that, you know, you just get on a nutritional supplement program and you're done. It's much more than that. Certainly, that is a key element. The Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are a key element. They're essential. That means they're like air and water. But it's much more than just getting on a supplement program. It's working on digestion. Listen, I'm as addicted to food as anybody. But we have to assess, we have, if we're sick, we got to start dealing with it. When we want to eat, what we're doing is we're imposing a mental or a emotional phenomena on biology, on our bodies. We're superimposing our desires, our emotions and our feelings and our thoughts on our biology. Our biology, our body's saying, don't eat. If you got a gut problem, chances are pretty good your body is your your digestive tract is saying don't eat or at least don't eat that food. And then we superimpose our will, we put our will on top of that and there is a price to pay and it's as simple as that. Here's the next if you're if you're like me and I am a food addict, make no mistake about it, I'm addicted to food and by that I mean I eat when I'm not hungry. That's how I define a food addiction. If you eat when you're not hungry, or if you eat a food when your body doesn't want you to eat that food. That's a food addiction. And I have it as much as anybody. We're, you know, we're born a certain way. But what I noticed is, is that many times I want to eat from this little area in the middle of, in the bottom part of my head called my mouth. That's where I want to eat from. There's a little tiny patch of flavor centers that wants to be activated. And a second place where I eat rarely is from my stomach or my belly. Well, what I notice is if I place my attention, if I start to make that distinction between belly eating and mouth eating, it's much easier to resist the food. Now, still, sometimes I'll go for it, but at least it be, you can begin to make this distinction. Do it the next time you're hungry. You think you're hungry. And I say think you're hungry. If, if you're looking at the menu and you're not sure what you want to eat, you think you're hungry. You know, if it doesn't sound good to you, what does that even tell you? That doesn't sound good. That doesn't look good. It means we're eating from our head. We're eating from our eyes. We're eating from our ears. That's a lot of times we eat from our eyes and our ears. That looks good. That sounds good. And the vast majority of the time we eat, it's going to be from this little tiny patch of flavor center, of, of, of flavor sensing molecules called taste buds, right on top of our skin. Mo many of us, including me, are led around 
by our taste buds. We're slaves to our taste buds. We need that hit. And what's happening there really is nothing more than brain chemistry. We're activating, relaxing, pleasurable brain chemistry. And because our lives are so complicated and convoluted, and the messaging we get from the media and from our society and our cultures, that we've got to be scared all the time. We've got to be in survival mode over time. For many of us, eating is one, one split second where we get peace of mind. From the minute you dip the spoon into the, sp into the soup or the yogurt or the ice cream or whatever you're eating, and then we pull it up to our mouths, that's a minute or that's a second or two seconds or three seconds of peace of mind that we never get. And then, of course, we, once, once the food is, has left our mouth, we're stressed out again. And so we go back, and we go back, and we go back. for Just for those t split second, one second, two seconds of peace of mind that we get from the time it takes the spoon to hit the ice cream and come up to our mouths. And I'm not saying that that's wrong or bad. I'm just saying it's something that maybe we want to explore if we're sick, if we're not feeling as good as we know we're entitled to feel. Deep down inside, we know that we're entitled to feel good. That's what being sick is really about, because we know that we shouldn't be sick. When we're sick, it's really a description of something that shouldn't be happening, and we know it shouldn't be happening. That's why we go to the doctor. We know it's not right. It's not there. We intuitively know that we're supposed to be healthy. We intuitively know we're supposed to be vital and strong. And you know what? We're right. Because we're the descendants of ancestors who recovered. We're the descendants of ancestors who healed. We're the descendants of ancestors who, folk, who fought cancer and other immune attack. We're the descendants of ancestors that were lean, mean, fighting machines. Well, we ain't so lean and mean anymore, that's for sure. So, and a lot of that is simply because of the way we live our lives, of our lifestyle choices, and it most certainly doesn't have to anything. Zippo, zero, nada, to do with your doctor. How dare somebody doctor us, a doctor, I love that word, to commit a fraud. That's what doctoring means. Go to the, uh, next time you pay your taxes, go to the IRS and say, here's my 1040. They're doctored. Not a good thing, because to doctor is to commit a fraud. And it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want to beat up on the medical model, because we can do it ourselves. That's the bright side. That's the good news. No matter what your health challenge is, folks, you can do it yourself to feel better, and feel better immediately, not long term. Feel better immediately, and over the course of days and weeks and months, uh, maybe even years, to completely reverse whatever your health challenge is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to, you've been listening to The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll talk vitamin E, and I'll uh, tell you about some cool things about vitamin E and the fat system of the body as we continue talking about fats and the skin on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening. Check out my, uh, my uh, uh, blog, pharmacistben.com, as well as criticalhealthnews.com, and check out our skin health products, truthtreatments.com, especially our retinol 5% gel. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.